Happy Fourth of July, everybody! All right, so I'm sitting here, best at work, kind of pondering around, not doing anything. So I thought I would do a 4th of July Plinko challenge for my family. Anybody who wants to play, I'm going to send this out with the uh, root text. Um, if you don't want to play, don't worry about it. I know everybody's busy today, except me, doing nothing, and I like it that way. It's supposed to rain anyhow, it's pretty cloudy outside. So I uh, got up this morning while Beth's getting ready to work and I come up with uh, 10 questions about the 4th of July. Um, it was like 5.30 this morning. I hope I can read my writing. So um, I bought this a while back. I was gonna do Plinko one week for the family game. Um, I'm going to set the point system up first instead of doing it later. So I'm going to drop the Plinko chips, see what every question is going to be worth. So the higher the point value that you know it is, because I'll read it off, um, those are the questions you want to get right. So remember, just like before, this is your best guess. If you know the answer, it's not a guess. You know it's factual. Um, no cheating, no asking anybody else, no looking up on your phone, dictionary, whatever encyclopedia uh, don't even ask Google or Siri or who the other one is um, so this is 10 questions and these are truth or, true or false not truth or dare these are true and false questions so we are going to call it fact or crap so these are the point values for 4th of July fact or crap question number one will be worth Oh, 10,000 points. You guys got to get this one right. And I'm kind of thinking you will. Here, let me do this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I should have been ready. I'm going to go to the same spot every time on the Plinko board. And that is worth, number two is worth 1,000 points. So if I get a zero, I will redrop it um, on the first one if it gets zeros on the other ones, which was about one in ten chance. Here we go, number three. One hundred points. Man, I'm gonna have to figure out the points later. Here we go, number four will be worth five hundred points. Man, you guys can rack up some points this game. All right, for number five. Another 100 pointer. All right, let's take them out. Whoa. All right, five more. This is for number six. What will number six be worth? 1,000 points. Hope I'm reading these right. Number seven. All right, so I'm gonna re-roll that one. Wow. Here we go, number seven. One hundred points wasn't worth much more, was it? All right, number eight, anything else, any more zeros, I'm keeping. That was a gimme there. So, number eight. <laughs> Another 10,000 pointer. Wow. All right, number nine is worth. What's the chance of that? Man, you guys can rack up some points. I don't remember what eight and nine questions are like you got to get them right all right this is for number 10 question number 10 let's see what it's worth wow coming over, straight over the edge 500 all right so we have our point totals for the point values for the questions sorry Bob I got to shut you off now all right so here we go 
with the questions. Fourth of July. Fact or crap? Here are the questions for Fourth of July. Fact or crap? During the American Revolutionary War, Paul Revere rode his horse along the countryside, warning the townspeople, yelling out, The Jewish are coming! The Jewish are coming! Fact or crap? All right, number two. Three presidents who signed the Declaration of the Independence died on July 4th. Fact or crap? Three presidents who signed the Declaration of Independence died on July 4th. Fact or crap? That, okay, so the first one, which I said was a gimme, that was worth 10,000 points. Number two was worth 1,000 about the presidents dying on July 4th. Number three is worth 100 points. Women played an important part, important role in the Revolutionary War in founding the United States. Fact or crap? Women played an important role in the Revolutionary War in founding the United States. Fact or crap? Number four is worth 500 points. All right, during the Revolutionary War, General George Washington reportedly issued a celebratory double ration of tequila to his soldiers on July 4th, 1778. Fact or crap? During the Revolutionary War, General Washington reportedly issued a celebratory double ration of tequila to his soldiers on July 4th, 1778. Fact or crap? Alright, here we go. I don't want you to see the answers here. Can't cheat. Number five is worth 100 points. Calvin Coolidge holds the unique distinction of being the only U.S. president born on the Independence Day of July 4th, 1872. Fact or crap? Calvin Coolidge holds the unique distinction of being the only U.S. president born on the Independence Day, July 4th. Fact or crap? Number six. It is worth 1,000 points. The Declaration of Independence wasn't actually signed on July 4th, 1776. Fact or crap? The Declaration of Independence wasn't actually signed on July 4th, 1776. Fact or crap? Number seven. It's only worth 100. This was where we got the zero on, and then now it's worth 100 points. Hamburgers are the most consumed food on the 4th of July. Fact or crap? Hamburgers are the most consumed food on the 4th of July. Fact or crap? All right. I'll hide this so you can't read it. Number eight. Worth 10,000 points. There's only one copy of the Declaration of Independence. Fact or crap? There's only one copy of the Declaration of Independence. Fact or crap? So remember in the past when we played this game, people, how I would uh, change a little bit of stuff up to where um, sounds true, but it's not. So you've got to use your best intuition on these questions. Number nine, another 10,000 pointer. All right, it is illegal to wear and have American flag clothing. It is illegal to wear and have American flag clothing. Fact or crap? 10,000 pointer. Number 10 is only worth 500 points. It is illegal to fly any other, any other flag above the U.S. flag. It is illegal to fly any other flag above the U.S. flag. Fact or crap? All right. Oh, so I do have a bonus question here. So we're going to have to drop the old uh, Plinko chip, see what this is worth. Perfect. All right, this is for the bonus question. <laughs> Can't have that. said I wouldn't do this, but here we go, bonus points. 100 points. All right, the bonus question is worth 100 points. 
Sorry, Bob. The oldest 4th of July celebration is held in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Fact or crap? The oldest 4th of July celebration is held in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Fact or crap? All right, so that's the questions. If you guys want to play, um, send me your text later. I'm not expecting any to do it now. Um, it's 10.30 in the morning. I don't know who all has got what going on. All right, here's some other tasty facts for the 4th of July. You can fly your flag 24 hours if it is properly illuminated during all hours of darkness. All right, the flag should never touch the ground. I remember Dad always being really picky on that one because he would be one that would burn the flags at the American Legion. Um, the flag should never touch the ground, be dipped to any person or thing, even the president and should never be displayed with stars facing down. All right, 56 delegates signed the Declaration of Independence. 56 delegates signed the Declaration of Independence. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence, although it was amended by uh, maybe President Monroe, and I know Ben Franklin did some amendments on the Declaration. Um, 50 stars on the flag represented the 50 states and 13 stripes representing the 13 original colonies. All right, that's that. Um, happy 4th of July, everybody. It's kind of funny. This is uh, election year. I kind of think if, if uh, there was a time machine, we could travel back and forth in time. The people from the 1770s, 75, 76, um, if they traveled to today, 2024, and they'd take a look at what's going around, and they'd go back and say, put the tea back on the boat, people. We're not going to fight for them if they're not going to worry about it. I'm sure the Revolutionary War probably would have never happened. They would probably uh, rewrite the Declaration of Independence, probably not have a Second Amendment, Tenth Amendment. The uh, right to uh, have freedom of speech. I'm sure they would rewrite everything a lot differently if they seen how stuff was going on now. But anyhow, that didn't work, did it? Here, let's try it again. Nope. Oh, well, happy there we go. <laughs> happy Fourth of July, everybody. Hope everybody has a good day. Talk to you guys later. Good luck. <laughs> Still running. I'm going to leave it.